I just saw a case, this Oklahoma man, Glenn Simmons, was in jail 50 years for a crime he did not commit. Comes out he wasn't even in the state where it happened. So he's just been exonerated, but he spent 50 years in jail. So I want to pull cards and see what life is going to hold for this man, Glenn Simmons. I can't imagine being institutionalized in a jail system for 50 years and then coming out into society. So what we have at the center of it is temperance, okay? Um, can he temper things? Can he balance things now that he's out above it? The takeaway. Now, most often they say this is the card of the theft. Well, what was stolen was 50 years of this man's life. Okay? So tempering after 50 years of his life have been stolen. The foundation is his going forward from this point. Um... Again, he had done nothing wrong. Um, what's crossing it is the message of the action that's going to take place from this point on. In the past, <clears throat> we have him just trying to hold on. I can't imagine being falsely accused and put in jail for 50 years. So what we have ongoing now, this is many times my card can be for jail, but also his home life um, where he's at now. So he held on for all that time in jail um, to his innocence it was, of course, a lot of emotion, and he's got a lot of emotion, I would say, now. Uh, of course, we had um, the harvest. What he had gotten was unfair, and what's crossing it were the arguments to finally get this man out of jail. The challenge is this manipulation that he had been through, okay? Um, now, they did give him a declaration. The court gave him a paper, a declaration that he is totally innocent. The outcome is a victory. He did get the victory with that. Above it. You know, for the time that he was incarcerated and to show a different view. And now what we have underneath of all of it, so many things yet for this man to explore. So much up in the air. Uh, what's he going to do with the rest of his life? What can he do? What's crossing it was this tower moment. He is, um, <clears throat> it's not going to be easy for him, okay? Not going to be easy for him because even though they have, they have said that he's absolute innocent, I mean, what kind of skills, what, what does he have? How can he relate to things that are out there now. Um, 
Okay. So let's go ahead and take these and we'll we'll do the two cards and see what else it's going to tell us about. Um, he's going to have a very hard time to go from institutionalized to having that freedom, but having lost 50 years. I mean, we really hope he can get his life on track, that he can, um, but let's see. Underneath of it, we have the light being shed on it now, okay? And what he's holding on to from from the court, the uh, the judge was a woman, so this is you know giving him back his life. We have again the judge and the judgment. This new new thing that came out that says absolutely exonerated. And, and now it's about just trying to get a fullness of his life temper. What can he do? Um, as long-term opportunity. I think he's a man of faith, a man of God. Um, it lo looks like he is a person of faith, and he is going to really hold on to that in going forward. So that's promising. Let's see what else we have. We have him holding on to his power now and being able to move freely, okay? Uh, again, he could feel still a little bit on edge, on guard. Uh, he's got to decide what he wants to do. What is he going to sell? What is it that he wants? The wish-fulfilling card. He may be feeling, again, still uh, pressed. Um, and we have strong, strong manipulation. I, I would say, you know, anybody that's gone through that is going to have some really difficult mind spin things to to come. As far as tempering, coming to balance, it looks like he's going to have a victory with that. So um, I would say it looks like it's not going to be easy, but he's a man of faith and that he is going to be able to go forward. But what a thing to have over your head 50 years of being incarcerated for a crime you did not commit. So I'm going to leave this here, and we really wish him well. I hope that he can find some happiness in his life with what time he has left, because he's an old man now, okay? He's at least in his 60s, 70s. He's got to be at least 70. Okay, 50 years. Okay. His whole adult life in, in prison. He's 71 years now. 71 years of age. And just starting his life. Um, you know, what can be said? in something like this. We really wish him well. I'm putting the link to the story uh, in the description if you are interested in seeing um, the story about Glenn Simmons, and we wish him the best. Oh, what a horrible, tragic, tragic thing to go through to spend your life in prison.